a difference a day makes 24 little hours we are 24 hours away from potentially the biggest news to ever hit the cryptocurrency space this could be absolutely massive there are some uh, reasons to be temper some caution which we'll have a look into in a minute but first off this is what i want to talk about as well is el salvador now this is interesting because they were buying crypto left right and center back uh, back in the day and their bitcoin bet is 13 million in profit as bitcoin's etf approach approval approaches president nayib bukele hailed the investment as being back in the black last month so right now uh, el salvador is sitting on 12.6 million dollars in unrealized profits on its bitcoin investment after being in the red for two years according to data from uh naive tracker it's interesting because how many of the countries are going to follow suit regarding this in the future it looks like the el salvador guy has really really made a, a statement he's done really really well for himself and i think that you know ultimately hopefully that'll help the people of el salvador and ultimately the, the whole crypto space we've got this as well the sec issues sudden warning this bitcoin etf race primes crypto for a 17 trillion dollar earthquake boosting the price of ethereum xrp and solana now you know i'm not sure it'll do that much for xrp uh to be perfectly honest but it, you know it, everything will likely rise during this during this event uh i would have thought initially though bitcoin will, dominance will go through the roof bitcoin and major cryptocurrencies such as ethereum xrp and solana have rockets rocketed in recent months as the market braces for a 17 trillion dollar earthquake i don't think xrp has rocketed for a long time uh, the Bitcoin price has surged almost 200% over the last 12 months, climbing to levels not seen since early 2022 as Wall Street race to get a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF to market ramps up, though it's been suggested that BlackRock and others could inadvertently destroy Bitcoin. I don't think that's likely, particularly on this cycle. Now, after a, surpri surpri no, after a surprise transaction sparked, spec speculation Bitcoin's mysterious founder had woken up the chair of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Secretary uh, Commission, uh, Gary Gensler, has warned Bitcoin and crypto companies may not be complying with federal security laws. I showed you yesterday about Gary Gensler's uh, thread that last three tweets and was about as informative as a biscuit. Uh, but it is one of them things, you know, it, it's getting spoken about. It, it's now in Forbes. More and more people are waking up to this. Uh, we've got this as well. So this is Aaron on the side of caution slightly from the crypto network. Uh, does it make sense? that if every exchange and insider knows that everyone and their mum is bullish and everyone is going to long the news, what better way to get more liquidity from traders than to liquidate them with yet another crazy candle wick down? The best time to do it would be soon. Surely I'm not overthinking things, am I? These guys know the real bull is coming, but they need more liquidity for themselves. You really think these exchanges have that much money to pay out so many longs in profits? If it does happen, why are alts bleeding again? It smells like corruption. I hope I'm wrong. I'd love to see green more than anyone too. But the plot is perfectly set up to hurt retail. Now you can kind of kind of see his point there. If, if everyone is banking on it being boom that day, then maybe, maybe there is a, a reason to temper caution. However, I think most of this money is going to be piled into Bitcoin initially anyway, uh, well before we get anywhere near the the highs for the the alts. Today also, um, Vanek and uh, BlackRock submitted um, additional filings. They were asked a few questions. They obviously submitted some new filings. Um, that's actually happened that's there and ready to go and also Raul Paul um obviously he's a genius um we are only just sta starting the global liquidity cycle and it already produced 50 percent gains in the NDX and 150 percent gains in Bitcoin in 2023 2024 and 2025 are the years we should expect an acceleration in liquidity according to the everything code let's see so we look at this all nations are in fact funded uh funded Debt growth in excess of GDP via database, i.e. they are all monetizing their interest payments since 2008. This is the peak fiat megatrend. And as you can see, we're just there. So we've got all this room to grow up. And, you know, the, it's likely to top, top out over there. But, like, that's – it's bullish. Things are at the bottom. Things are starting to to take shape. Uh, it was also backed up by Milky uh, – is it Mickey Bull? Mikey Bull Crypto? Uh, global net liquidity coincides with this. And again, you can see here that we're at the cycle bottom. Back in 2021, we obviously hit the cycle cycle top and we didn't take our profits and we ended up going all the way down here and then subsequently all the way down here. But here we are, or here we were, and we're now coming up again. So this is all pointing to really bullish information. And a little bit more bullish news is Jim Cramer. He says Bitcoin is now topping out. Well, if he says something, it 
automatically normally goes the other way around. So that's another thing that could be potentially bullish. Also, with the halving coming up in April as well, things are just all sort of the, like everything seemed to click into place nicely, but not necessarily all from the right, the, 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 the usual places. So everything seems to be coming together like a perfect storm to be possibly the biggest super cycle that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency has ever seen. Uh, and like I said yesterday, I think this is the first time we've ever been ahead of the game in terms of being ahead of all these big institutions. These institutions are now going to start coming in. And after that, regulation will be so tight. It'll be run like the stock market, in my opinion. So this is the last wild, wild west bull run where we can actually make generational wealth and come out of this um, out of the other side, you know, having all the arrows in our backs, but the actual ability to live our lives exactly how we want to in the future. Bitcoin's price today is currently 46829 uh, I know it touched 47,000, just a little bit over that. And it's likely to probably do that again. Uh, we are at the moment 20 past five in the UK, um, G, uh, GMT. Uh, the Obviously, the it'll be an American time when the official announcement will be made. And it could be and is more likely to be tomorrow. So moving away from Bitcoin slightly, a couple of projects I've been looking at that I might want to look into after this uh, big event takes place. One is Cedify. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers are getting, are getting paid to speak about Cedify. I have never received a penny from any cryptocurrency to talk about anything uh, on this channel. But I am having a little look at it um, because it's one of these things like where you can, where you, can uh, you can stake your token and then you'll qualify for the IDOs. The IDOs seem pretty good on, um, on here. They're mainly focusing around games. Uh, Blood Loops coming soon. There's a few others, some completed ones. So you can check how they've done, check their progress, things like that. I looked at uh, Coin Rank. Uh, they've got it currently priced at three dollars thirty, but its average all-time high ROI is twenty-five x, which I think is you know very very good. But it mainly mainly if you look here, it sort of uh, serves the GameFi industry. And we know that GameFi, we know that AI, we know that um, uh, DeFi things like that will come back, particularly during the bull run, and it also offers ways in for mass adoption. So it might be worth something uh, something to look at. Uh, the price is a little bit down today so it's one of these ones i'm looking at if we see a dump in the alt as a result of bitcoin uh all the money going into bitcoin the bitcoin dominance will go up will we see a dump in the alt if we do then you know we've got to be primed to be able to take uh, advantage of, the, of these positions uh the other one i wanted to check out was um near protocol uh, again it's uh if you want me to do a deep dive on either cdify or near protocol let me know in the comments and we'll go and do a proper deep dive into all these projects but these are just a couple of things that I'm currently looking at that I think can do really well in the bull run. Uh, it is intriguing me. It is interesting. The price for Near Protocol currently is $3.10, 3.3% down, uh, a market cap of $3.2 billion. It has come down in the last 24 hours, so it might be coming into a buying range. Its all-time high was uh, 84% ago, so it's $20.44. Just one more thing on Bitcoin as well is that we are very close now to its all-time high. We are only 32% away. And I know 32% in Bitcoin money is obviously a lot. But when you think about the potential trillions that are going to enter the market over a very short period of time, we could easily see Bitcoin get into an all-time high in the next couple of days. Potentially, obviously, anything said here is obviously not financial advice. But it is exciting times. It is exciting times. We are getting closer now to the point where Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will be regulated now long run. Um, and I mean, long run is in 10 years. That's probably not good news. Um, it certainly isn't good news for people who, who want to start trading cryptocurrencies in 10 years time, because it will be very much like the stock market. Like I said before, is is how I think it will be run is you'll still get the odd outliers that, that come in and, and, you know, we can get access to them before they go on to these ETFs. But I think that once a Bitcoin ETF is approved, I don't think it'll be long before you see an Ethereum one. And then not long after that, a Solana one and so on and so on down the top 10, top 15, top 20, because they're going to want to they're going to want to make the most money for themselves. They're arguing at the minute, all these big uh, companies like BlackRock and uh, Vanguard, all these other companies, they're all arguing over the uh, fees. They're trying to get the, the fees down as cheap as possible, which is which is actually great for the consumer. So the consumer finally has all the chips in this bargaining battle. So that's really interesting as well. Obviously, the consumer doesn't have unlimited wealth. So we will obviously be selling our, our, our coins to them. But then hopefully we can start making stuff on the, on the lower market caps as well. And then come the, the peak of the bull run, hopefully we're all leaving here successful. We're all leaving here with the life that we want, you know, to give our families, our dreams, our hopes, and everything like that, that we can go and achieve those. 
uh, if it is sitting on a desert island somewhere enjoying your life you know if you're able to do that and you don't have to work again and get up and do the nine to five it's going to be uh, an absolute blissful feeling i've always said that the biggest the biggest goal uh, that the money will 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 provide me and I know provide a lot of other people will be just that, that that real feeling of freedom. Freedom is ultimately the most beautiful thing that any of us can have. And I honestly believe that. And I think that this is the time that it may be ready to go for us. We may be ready. To, we may be there. Um, but like I said before, 24 hours away from potentially the SEC giving the go ahead to the first bitcoin etf exciting times in the market let me know in the comments anything you want to talk about in crypto drop me to do a deep dive on cdfi or near protocol let me know how you think the thing's going to go tomorrow are we going to get approved is it going to make a massive impact initially on the bitcoin price let me know in the comments below subscriber wise we are ever so close now to 3,000 subscribers so hopefully we can smash through that tonight uh, like this video share it around if you can um, if you think someone gets some value from it uh, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, have an amazing day, have an amazing evening. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Goodbye.